the world and see we'd made that field boy
This is what we'd be without the land boy. We'll go. Come on. Why does the widow refuse to sell? Uh, God knows, boy. She's a woman like your mother. If we knew how to keep the women happy, Shall we still be in paradise? And <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the field worth fighting for, boy? There's the best fertilizer in the world. Your anniversary must be soon, then. Ten years this week. It's a long time for a woman to be in mourning. Long enough. Now, what use is a field here without a man to farm it for you? No use. I, um... I'm making arrangements for Thig to be settled. Do you ever think of selling the field ever? You know well enough I've no son of my own. I think about it all the time. You'll be in good hands when you do. Excuse me, miss. Try 
drive her mad. <laughs> Any for the poor tinker child, ma'am? Bottle of milk for the baby. Lamb loves the milk bar. Can't serve you at this hour, ma'am. I don't want a drink. I want to sell the field. Field. I the field. I need the best price I can get. Paul McCabe's field? He rents it. It was bare rock when he got it, ma'am. Baron. He broke it into a lovely field. It will go to the highest bidder. <laughs> bidder. Bidder. Bidder? It will be sold by public auction. You have no right to sell the field. It's my land. I'll take my chances. It will be sold by public auction on October the 1st. Whoever pays the most gets the field. I'm washing my hands of that field. I've a lot of trouble here, Mr. Flanagan. The bull won't like this. Is the bull McCabe's field by right? Nobody would bid against the bull. Nobody steps into that field without the bull's permission. There was a big stallion donkey. He stepped into the bull's field, but he never stepped out again. Because he didn't have permission! <laughs> a big stallion donkey. the bird.
How are you keeping, Bull? Who gave you permission to call me Bull? You little fella. Ferret. Ferret, that's good, Bull. What do you want? I haven't come looking for drink money, Bull. What do you want? Uh, the young widow. She came into Flanagan's this morning. She's thinking of selling the field. What? By public auction. Mighty Rao Lamakins. So she's putting up the field? That's right. On the first day of October, by public auction. Public auction? What will happen? Men will make bids. Bids? Bids? For my field? Just who would insult me by bidding for my field here in Carrick Thomond? There might be outsiders, Bull. <laughs> outsiders. Are these the same outsiders who took the corn from our mouths? When the potatoes went rotten in the ditches. Ah, no, bull. Are these the same outsiders who took the meat from the tables when we lay in the ditches with the grass juice running green from our mouths? Take it easy. Are these the same outsiders who drove us to the coffin ships and scattered us to the four corners of the earth? Are these the same outsiders who watched whilst our valley went silent except for the cries of the last starving child? The English are gone, bull. Gone! Because I drove them out. Me and my kind. Gone! But not forgotten, Flanagan. No outsider will bid for my field. Oh. You said, well said, well said! You're the bull, you're the bull, you're the bull! That's your father, play. <laughs> the widow? We'll get 50 pounds from me for the field, the silly woman. The priest will get his Easter Jews. And we'll all be happy in Carrick Thorman. Give everyone a drink. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's that new priest. It's covered from head to foot in trying to stop the tinkers fighting. No, no, will you stop that? Stop, stop it. Will you stop fighting among yourselves? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, I say. I'd like a word with you, Mr. McCabe. Speak. Where were you the night before last? At home. Doing what at home? Nothing. Do you know anything about a missing donkey? It's missing. We want our money. We want our money. Well, I take care of this, Sergeant, and will you? We want our money. The next time a Tinker's donkey breaks a wall into my field, I'll kill the owner. Not the poor, dumb animal. He did it! Surely. You'll get your blood money. Well, we better. Because if we don't, it'll be a curse in your head. Take. Let's go. Get out of that now. You should know for respectable oh, farmers' no, fields. Come, come on. Come on. You. Come on. Go on with you. You too. This will be a fair auction, McCabe. I want no intimidation. You're just passing through here, Father. Leave us to our ways. Will you've got to his? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Ben. Go on. Go on. Go on, Ben. Mike. Never trust a woman who has no contact with the art by. Tell the tinkers about the donkey bird. I did not tell the tinkers. You think you did? I did not. 
Tell the tinker! Stay! Look! I'd cut that with a rusty blade before I'd become an informer. It's dirty! Dirty! Worse than a whore, Ty! Worse than a whore! I think you did, bud. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa. There she is. Jesus, will you look at her, boys? You remember that linoleum the mother bought for that room way back? You do. You know how much it cost a square yard? I do not. One shilling and sixpence a square foot. That's more than that field down there. And linoleum wears out. <laughs> and, and, and you'd have to go a long way before you'd find cattle to take to linoleum. <laughs> no, father's 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 father dug that soil with their bare hands. Built those walls. Our souls is buried down there. And your sons, 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 sons will take care of it, boy. Do you get my meaning? No. Dad as well. Go on, Bessie. Watch out for those tinkers, boy. They lost their footing on the land during the famine, and they'll never get back on it. Peja. Ash. What is he? A bank robber? Is he yank? Pure geometry. Father was a great man for making a rake bull. Even the great storm of 05 never knocked his rake. Can we just... Yeah, just like a house. The car in the storm is secure, it can't be shaken. Good. 
Would you like a sandwich, bud? Who took the maze out of this one? It was not me, Buzz. Well, someone did. I'll have to talk to the wife about it. <laughs> You've not said a word to each other for 20 years, Buzz. <laughs> Is that a motor? Make a great fire. It's the last lot for the island. What are they saying, Da? They're saying a prayer for Shamey. A prayer for your brother. Have you no word of Irish from that school of yours? Find the priest. So he's new. <laughs> the last time Christ was in the temple, he destroyed it. Say a prayer at Jamie's grave. Who we'll put that pound note on the plate, Tig? Don't like it. Dangerous. Wow. 
what may shame me do it. Aye, you're making a good fire of the old hatch. How are you, ma'am? Good day, Mr. Barrett. Dad. Oh, it must cost a queer penny to make a slate roof. Yes. The touch is no good. Like an archie woman, it needs constant attention. You wanted to see me, boy? The girl is an only daughter. Land? She has nine acres coming to her. She seems an attractive sort. <laughs> Solid. She is. Will she be good to him? She will. Will she produce an heir? She comes from good stock. You can have a look yourself at the American wake. Shame to see all those fine women going away to, to, to America and to England. Ah, the land can only support so many. That's the lesson of the famine. What do you think of the new electric bull? What do you think, Bolt? <laughs> the trouble with the new electric is you can see what you're doing. <laughs> you're a real night owl, Bolt. Good night, Pat. Good night, man. How are you, Peter? And, uh, Tommy, is it? Here with the taking. Danger! Danger! Where's the macro, Archie? Go! There she is. There she is, there she is. Where is she? Here. Which one? The one in the yellow. Is she good company? Uh, she can talk. She'd want to. Tiger's no orator. She is, and she's got a great pair of hips. Uh, she can breathe in air, all right. Answer me. I will not. Will you dance me so? Uh, I won't, no. You're all afraid of me. The tinker's daughter. You're all afraid that if you touch me, you lose the soil under your feet and end up sleeping under the stars. Well, you could do worse. You could do worse than lie with the tinker's daughter under the stars. Is there any one ye man enough to dance with me? Who's the biggest man among ye? Uh, I'll dance with you, redhead. The ball McCabe will dance with you. Come on, tight. I think she speaks on you. Come on, get up, get up and dance, get up and dance, get up, come on.
Ranchite, come on! Ranchite! Ranchite! Come on, Gentlemen, glad to see you all here. Let's start, Flanagan. And may the best man win. And now, gentlemen, will someone make me an offer for this fine field? This property containing three acres, one road, and 32 perches. This green, grassy pasture. Come on now. Twenty-five pounds. <laughs> I hear you loud and clear, sir. I have twenty-five pounds from Mr. O'Donnell. <laughs> now this is more like it. Any advance on twenty-five pounds? Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds from Mr. McCabe. Any advance on thirty pounds? It's thirty-five. Thirty-five pounds it is. Thirty-five pounds it is. Any advance on thirty-five pounds? Forty pounds. Forty pounds from Mr. McCabe. Any advance on forty pounds? Go on, Bob. <laughs> Any advance on forty pounds? Forty five pounds. <laughs> forty five pounds. Any advance on forty five pounds? Any advance now on forty five pounds? I hear forty five pounds. Forty-five once. Forty-five twice. Fifty pounds! I have fifty pounds from Mr. McCabe. Any advance on fifty pounds? Fifty pounds from Mr. McCabe. Is this to be the last bid today? Fifty pounds once. Fifty pounds twice. Fifty-five pounds. I beg your pardon, sir? I said 55 pounds. I hear 55 pounds. I have 55 pounds once, 
55... 60 pounds? Uh, 60 pounds. Any advance on 60 pounds? 65 pounds. 65 pounds. Any advance on 65 pounds? 70 pounds? You don't have 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Shut up. 70 pounds once. Not in front of the village. 70 pounds twice. 75 pounds. Any advance on 75 pounds? 80 pounds. I have 80 pounds from the Bull McCabe. 80 pounds. Any advance on 80 pounds? Any advance on 80 pounds? Any advance now, sir, on 80 pounds? 80 pounds once. 80 pounds twice. 80 pounds. This field will not be sold for 80 pounds. Get out of carry, Tobin. Away, you who you. This is the Bull's field. There's a reserve price on this field. I'm putting a reserve price of 100 pounds on this field. This is my field. You'll sell no field. This is my field. And I'm selling it. And I'm going back to my own people. Who threw that? <laughs> of all the wars we fought here, we've never ever laid our hands on a woman in Carrick Thormund. And we never will. We were through. Move. Oh. This auction will reconvene next Saturday day morning at 12 o'clock on the Angeles. Well, why wait? I'm prepared to go higher. You'll be well advised not to. Why's that? Well, you could be inviting a lot of trouble for yourself. Oh? From whom? This field is mine. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Well, my advice is to stay out of it. This is deep. Very deep. Deeper than you think. Hey! Bart! Get out of the car, Father. Come on. Ah, look at that. Look at that, Father. There's limestone down there. And there's enough limestone up there to build highways all over Ireland. And from what I've seen, you could use them. <laughs> no, I cover this field with concrete, then I've got access to the whole shooting match. Get in the car, Father. Get in the car? Yeah, get in the car. Get in the car. Yeah. Where are we going to now? You'll see. Just hold on. Come on.
Are those hills beautiful, Peter? Yeah, they're beautiful, Father. Kind of sad, too. Melancholic, you know? You could harness that. Think of the potential. Jobs. I can't wait. Thanks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He has the tinker walking here. to burn. They say the whole town took drink from him last night. They say he's a big stick hidden in the boot of his car. Thirty pound. Thirty pound for two milch cows. That's robbery, Betty Joe. Well, I sound like an offer, Paul. You're taking advantage of me. No one the situation. I've never used a man's misfortune against him, Paul, and you know that well. I'll give you 30 pounds now for the two cattle and another five at Christmas. Hmm? You're still following your father like a calf. I use this to crush her back. Like a strong back tiger. Hey! Your daddy's calling. Your plans are noble, Peter. But people don't like change. I'm worried. You only see the past, Chris. I see something else. Can you see it somewhere else? Look, Chris, my father was a lonely man. I spent my childhood dreaming of finding his father for him, of coming back to Ireland and bringing my grandfather back to life. And my own father died, and I just had to come back. Can you explain that to me, Chris? What's this? A hundred pound. Close the sale. The American has said he'll beat any bid you make. Are you siding with that foreign bastard Flanagan against one of your own? I have no choice, Paul. The sergeant was here this morning. He made the latest offer on behalf of the American. Let me fix the yank. With a stick. Your people mightn't even be in there, Peter. This is the Kerry Tolman death register, isn't it, Father? Just the people the church actually buried. Hmm? A million and a half people died of hunger in three years. They must be buried all around us. You're not superstitious, are you, Chris? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's just a thin veneer of Christianity we painted over these people. in front of the goddamn police station. Shit! They're not getting compensation either, Father. 
I don't care if they run in that field for a thousand years. It's letting your cattle out of your field, bud. Go on, Bessie. Go on, Bessie. Go. Go, Bessie. Go on, Bessie. Go on, Bessie. My cattle can't read. You can't. No trespassing. What about water? It's four miles up that mountain with water. Do you know anything about a motor car with its tire slashed? No. Look, I know the law, boy. You can't put up a North trespassing sign without permission from the owner. Why is it written on presbytery paper? You'll have to ask Father Dorn about that. Stop him. That's okay, man. You might take your hat off, mister. I'll take my hat off to God when the time comes. No. What's this? That's a no trespassing order. Why is it written on the church paper? He doesn't have to answer that. Do you know what he's doing, Father? Do you really know? He intends to pour concrete on the green grass. Now, that's... A mortal sin. You are not the one to talk about sin, McCabe. What? There was a widow who lived in fear of her life for ten years. What are you trying to say to me? You terrorize that poor woman every night for ten years. I never harmed a woman in my life. She lived in terror. Feeling, Father. This is none of the church's business. It's the widow's field. She has the right to sell it. No. It's my field. It's my child. I nursed it. I nourished it. I saw it to us every want. I dug the rocks out of it with my bare hands and I made a living thing of it. I only welted that green grass that lovely green grass, and you want to take it away from me, and in the sight of God, I can't let you do that. Can't you find another field? Another field? Another field? Jesus, is yours far and here is that yank. Another field? Are you blind? Those hands, do you see those hands? Those rocks? It was a dead thing. Don't you understand? This is the widow's field. That's the law, the common law. There's another law, stronger than the common law. What's that? The law of the land. When I, when I 
I was a boy, younger than Tygear. My brothers and my sisters had to leave the land because I couldn't support them. We wasn't rich enough to be priests or doctors. So it was the emigrant ship for all of them. I was the eldest, the heir. I was the only one left at home. Neighbor was scarce. So my father and I, we had our breakfast, dinner and tea, working in that field without a break in our work. And the mother brought us the meals. One day, one day my father sensed a drop of rain in the air. And the mother helped us bring in the hay before it was too late. She was working in one corner of the field and I was working in the other. But the third day I saw her fall back, keel over, so to speak. I called my father, I ran to her. My father knelt beside her, he knew she, he knew she was dying. She had an act of contrition into her ear and he asked God to forgive her her sins. And he looked at me and he said, fetch a priest. Fetch a priest. And I said, let's, let's bring the hay in for us. Let's bring the hay in for us. <clears throat> my father looked at me with tears of pride in his eyes. He knew I'd take care of the land. And if you think I'm going to face my mother in heaven or in hell without that field, you've got something else going. No color, uniform, or weapon will protect the man that stands in my way. Never live out in the world like us. Always behind closed doors, feeding out of the hands of housekeepers. They're the Judases of this nation, them same priests. They know each side their bread's buttered, make no mistake. And both book inside. Quiet, Bob, quiet. I've got a terrible rapping in me skull. Oh. 
He was here just now, buddy. Bought drinks for the whole shop. Spending money like water he was, bud. He's gone to the big falls, bud. Give every man a drink. The usual. Not him. Ah, oh, bull. Now get out. Made an offer for the land either side of the falls, bull. A total stranger. An outsider. Has come to carry torment. To bury my sweat and my blood in concrete. To shame me and the land. Now this man is a robber. And nothing less than a robber. And we all know how to deal with robbers. He must be given a fright. And a fright he's going to get. Can I come in now, Bull? No. Stay there a while. Now, lads. When the civic guards come around asking questions, we were here playing cards all night. Right, lads? <laughs> we were playing snap, right, lads? <laughs> Tyg. And me. Right, Tyg. Here. Go back inside. Go. Oh. Tonight is your test, boy. The donkey was wrong. You went too far. You get my meaning? You understand me, boy? Just a beaten. I can keep him in his place. Come on now. It is a bad night, da. You think he'll be there? He's a driven man. He'll be there. Now we'll be wondering where we are. Never wonder. You won't hear a word of complaint, Oliver. Why don't you and Matt talk? She's a peculiar woman, the mother. She's led me a queer life all these years. How long has it been? How long has what been? Since you spoke to her. Eighteen years since I slept with her or spoke to her. That's why we have to find you a good woman. A bad woman can be a fiend, boy. What age was I when Shamey died? What age was Shamey? Thirteen years, six months, twenty-four days. Come on.
Listen now. I want you to give me your solemn oath that you leave Carrick Thorman first thing in the morning and never set foot here again. Be a good yank. Turn around. Go home. Who the hell do you think you are? We're telling you for the last time. Go home. I hope you realize you're breaking the law. <laughs> What's so funny? Law. Yeah. Don't miss the law. Tomorrow's the auction. I'll see you there. I'm asking you now, for the last time, go home to your family. That field is mine. Go ahead, boy. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't. Go on now, boy. Go on, Tyke. I knew it was in you. Get up. Oh. 
Go on, boy. Pick up my stick. Go home, Yank. For the love of God, go home. You'll stop sitting there like an old woman. I'll talk to you like that, kid. Shut up. You went away to America to make you a few dollars. You think you can come back here with those few dollars and to buy the land that you disasters? You're an animal. You're turning your kid into an animal, too. You tried to shame me in front of my village, in front of my son, in front of God himself. Will you not shame me? You will not shame me. Shame me. Shame me. Stop. 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 Come on. He's not well. He's all right. Let him be. He's not the lesson of the land. Come on. Come on, he'll be all right. Dead. He's not dead, boy. He's dead. He'll be all right. He's not moving. Sorry for having offended thee. Oh my God, I'm heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest my sins above any other evil because they displease thee, my God. Who, oh, for thy infinite goodness, art so deserving of all my love? And I firmly resolve by thy holy grace never more to offend thee and to amend my life. Amen. Almost Just almost There's a good night, good He's dead! He's not dead! He's not dead! He's not dead! He's dead! He's not dead. He's not dead. Thirteen years, six months, twenty-four days. The sun's coming up. I'll have to hide him. I'm to bid for the bull. Start. We'll wait for the yank. He won't be here. Why won't he be here? 
What? Why won't he be here? Because he won't. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, there is a reserve of 100 pounds on this field. I paid 101 pounds from the Paul McKay. Any advance now on 101 pounds? Any advance on 101 pounds? 101 once, 101 twice, 101 three times, sold. The Bull McKay. The field's yours, Bull. Don't break. You? Don't break, Bull. You're speaking to me. If you break, Tiger's lost. Who look after the land? He's not ready yet. Bull, you're not listening to me. I'm listening. Are you hearing me? I'm here. Tyg is incapable of looking after the land alone. Will he ever be capable? If you break, Shamey will have died for nothing. I told you. If you have to speak to Shamey, it's best you don't speak to him. You must speak of it. What does Ethan, you alive? It wasn't your fault. Didn't you ever hear me shout at you? There's only life in the land for one. Didn't you ever hear me shout at you? Tyke will have to emigrate. Stop it. It wasn't your fault. Wasn't it my mouth the words came out of? I see him. Drive him out of your mind, Bull. You must drive him out of your mind. For Tyke's sake. Do you think the strain is in Tyke too? I'm worried. The strain is in Tyke too. You've been living with a dead boy for 18 years. It's crippling, Tyke. Silence. Silence. Only silence. Black is the color of my true love's hair Her lips are like Some roses fair She has the sweetest smile 
I'm the gentlest hand I love the ground Whereon she stands It's a nice song. You like it? I do. See your father beat you too. My father never beat me. All fathers beat their children. They wouldn't be children if they didn't. My father beats me. My father never beat me in his life. Did you get the bruises, so? It was your father, wasn't it? He beat you. I fought the Yank. You fought the Yank? I killed him. You killed him? You killed the Yank? I never thought you had it in you. Touches you again, I'll kill him. I love you, Katie. Don't go to mass. But the priest is going to read you from the altar. The tinkers, they know something. They're full of money and, and, and it's nine o'clock in the morning. They're all drunk. Blood money. Three days ago in this parish, a man was murdered. He was beaten to death in a field not a mile from this church. 
For three days, the police have asked questions, but everywhere they go, they're met with silence. A silence of the most frightening and evil kind. The silence that protects a murderer. Now, this is a parish where we understand hunger. And God knows there are many hungers inside us. There's a hunger for food. There's hunger of the flesh, natural and understandable hunger. There's a hunger for love, home, children. These things are good. They are good, perhaps, because they are necessary. But there is also a hunger for land. And this can be evil. It can destroy the soul. How far would you go to satisfy your greed for land? Would you go to the point of violence? Would you perhaps even kill for land? Will you smash a man's skull open for a few miserable acres of grass? If so, then this field is a field of blood, and those who profit by it will be damned. Among you there is a murderer, and through your silence you share in his guilt. You're all murderers! Do not defile this church with your shame. Do not add hypocrisy to cowardice. Today, I will lock the gates of this church. The bell will be silent. Confessions will not be heard, and so it will be until justice is done. You're all trespassing in the house of God. And in the name of God, I ask you to leave it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out! Get out! Get out! Father, go on. Lock the gates to God's house. Sure, they were locked at the time of the famine, too. No priest died the time of the famine. Only poor people, like us. can't run away like tinkers. We are tinkers. I have to face my father. Go on. It's coming, it's coming! It is like a dinosaur! It's like a big bird with a neck and a big beak!
All aboard. Get in front of me so I can see your face. Can I see? You can see. No more. Friday night. I, I was here. Is that true, lads? No. 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 You were up at the lake, but I was. What would I be doing up at the lake? Sure, maybe you'll tell me. Serious? You think I'm the informer? <laughs> Informer. You were there. And my mother's grave, I'm not an informer. I'm not an informer. And you weren't the informer. It was your son, Tig. <laughs> it was your son, Tig, and the Tinker Girl. Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it? He told her, and, and she told her father, and her father told the priest. And the priest told the winner, and the winner paid the tickets, and the tickets are all drunk laughing at you. <laughs> Go home and find Tyke. And she's with the Tinker Girl. Father's here. Get that whore out of my house. Don't call her a whore. Get that Tinker's whore out of my house. If you call her a whore again, I'll kill you. He says, your mouth. Those words are coming over. Ask her. What? Ask her what? Ask her what she told her father. Told my father what? What you told her to get her to open her legs. What are you saying? It's what you said. He'll betray us. I suppose you taught her that you killed the Yank. Did you tell her that you killed the Yank? I did. He's a liar. And he's a betrayer. He's betrayed the land. I don't care about the land. I never cared about the land. I'm going to marry her. Marry her, a tinker, a traveller. The travelling people take outcasts. They don't care about the land. Within a year, 
There'll be rocks busting through the soil. And the weeds will choke the both of them. You don't understand. You'll never understand. I don't want to land. She doesn't want the land. You're the only one who wants the land. And now you have it. I don't want the land. I wanted the land for you. What kind of an air can she give you? One that he can love without the land. didn't even have the decency to leave him. Where we could give him a Christian burial. Christian burial? Christian burial? My baby boy lies beyond there in an unmarked grave. He went to meet his maker without one prayer from a priest. The church refused to let him lie in consecrated ground with his grandfather. It's all gone. The kingdom is gone. He's gone. Jamie, he's gone. The land is gone. Destroyed. Where are you going, Bull? I'm going to dig up the bones of Jamie. And bury him in the arms of my father. Calm, Bull. Calm. And damn you for listening to the priest. Should I should have buried him with my own bare hands? Damn my mother and my father. For slaving me to the accursed famine field. Breaking me for it. Look at yourself! Look at yourself, will you? No. No. Curse myself for cursing my mother to hell to get the field. to get you, son. 
Wherever you are, in heaven or in hell. <laughs> Where are you going, Bo? Where are you going? To the edge of the world. Father's gone mad. He's away to the cliffs. What? With the cattle. He thinks you betrayed him. You better stop him. Going to harm him. No one's going to harm him. Look after yourself now. Look after yourself. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Father, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. 